When you get right down to the core of the matter, the cast of friends is indestructible. Burn them down to the finest of ashes. You can roll over them with a steamroller. Poke their flesh and crush their bones into powder. You can give them a bath in sulfuric acid. Each one of their cells will disintegrate. You can feed them to a pack of starving pit bulls. They will deposit them in the backyard. You can drop them off on top of a space needle. They might even leave a smear on the EMP. But you will never truly eradicate them, for they have a crucial ace in the hole. Their bodies are composed of things called molecules, which are returned aggregates of atoms. Now, these atoms have a remarkable habit of attaching themselves to anything, whether to be a barnacle on a Greenpeace ship or American Spirit cigarettes. You might find a piece of Jennifer in your beer, perhaps Courtney in a rooster's coxswain. David could be in chlorine in your swimming pool. Matthew could be the condom that broke. Their molecules may be floating past Serbia, perhaps alighting on Kosovar's pimps, dancing on hairpins in the bleach houses of Crete, or bonded in ink on Hollywood mags. But when you get down to the core of the matter, you will never truly be rid of them. For they outnumber us, and they have been around since the beginning of all creation. In fact, a stray molecule of a gas member may attach itself to your DNA, causing profound changes in your future offspring. For good or for ill, who can determine? So keep this firmly in your mind. When you next switch off, Mother Nature works in very strange ways. While modern science lets you choose your relatives, there's no guarantee your choice of friends.